Hello, and welcome to my video on the uh, conversion of an ERD associated with a one-to-many relationship, uh, converting that into a create table statement. Uh, so in this case, we're skipping over uh, the relational model, and we're going to go right from the ERD to the create table statement. So um, I'm just going to open up Word. It really doesn't matter what you use. You can do this in any text editor you want, um, any word processor you want. Um, but in this case, I'm going to use Word. Uh, so here we've got uh, customer. Uh, customer is optional to order, right? So we can have a customer without having an order, and a customer can create many orders. Uh, an order uh, is a weak entity in that it has to have a customer associated with it. Uh, and since there is a, uh, a one and mandatory um, relationship from order to customer, uh, that's an identifying relationship. Uh, so when you look at the relationship, right, if I click on create, it's an identifying relationship between customer and order, all right? And when I look at the entity order, I've marked it as weak, okay? So, your ERD has been done properly. Uh, we can now get into the create table statement. Uh, so let's start off with the create table uh, command. And here we're going to create customer. You have to create customer first. Um, since uh, an order entity instance cannot exist uh, without being associated with a customer, the customer table has to be created first. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a, uh, a line feed and then I'm going to create the customer ID. I'm going to say it's an integer data type, and I'm going to say that it's not null, right? It's going to be the primary key, so obviously we can't have um, we can't have null values in there. Uh, you can use tabs if you like. If that makes it a little clearer, fine with me. Um, so we're, then we're going to see that we have a uh, customer name. Now, customer name really is uh, a multi-valued uh, or a compound uh, entity attribute. So we're going to say that we're going to have customer first name. And again, you can tab over if you want. Uh, Farchar, we're going to say that that's 20. Um, we're going to say that we have to know the customer's name, right? So, not null. Now, depending, right, you could have a business rule that says, um, you know, the, the customer name is actually the business name. In that case, leave it as is. Um, we have customer last name. So, I'm, I'm doing this just for, uh, just in case that's the decision that you've made our char uh, 20 is fine um, and we're going to say that that is also not null uh, we'll do the same thing with customer address right so it's going to be uh, customer street bar char again 20 whatever you feel like making it is fine with me um, now, maybe we know their street address, maybe we don't know their street address. Again, that's your business rule. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave that as it is. All right. Customer city. Bar char 20. And again, whatever you feel like making these is fine with me. Um, you get the idea of breaking it down. Customer street, customer city. You would continue on with that. Customer phone. I don't want to waste too much time doing that part of it. I think that should be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. So now we're going to make a constraint because we have a primary key. Uh, we'll call it something like customer PK. Whatever your naming convention is, is fine with me. Uh, it is a primary key constraint. The primary key constraint is on the customer ID field, All right? That's not the end of it. We have to close the paren that we started with create table customer open paren. So there's your close paren semicolon. That is your create table statement for customer. So now we're going to do the create table statement for 
order. Okay, and I'm going to open up a parentheses. I'm going to say that this is the order, <laughs> the order ID, and it can be integer. Sorry, let me keep tabbing. I as well stick with that. Um, and again, it's not null. Uh, we have an order date, uh, integer, and no reason to have an order if we don't know the date. So you have to put the date in there. Order total. Uh, oh, and order date is not an integer. <laughs> Sorry about that. That is a date, data type. Uh, order total, uh, we can make uh, numeric. Now you use numeric if you have something that has decimal value and obviously an order total might have a decimal value. Um, so precision and scale, which was presented in the text. Uh, right, so we have, uh, again, numeric six comma two uh, would say that there are six digits, two of which are um, up to the right side of the decimal point, which means we've got four digits uh, to the left, which means the largest number we can put in here is 9,999.99. Okay, uh, so that's order total. Now uh, we need a field to hold the foreign key to the customer table. So we are going to make the customer ID. Woo, sorry about that. A little numlock problem. Uh, customer ID. It has to be the same data type as the table is coming from. So the create table statement for customer says that the customer ID is an integer. Therefore, when we use it as a foreign key in another table, it still has to be integer. Uh, again, we cannot have uh, a an order that does not have uh, a customer ID. So that should be not null. And I should have done that with order date as well. Obviously, we should know what date this was. And an order can't, an order instance can't happen without a value being in the total. So here's our customer ID. So now we get into our constraints. And again, the constraints are the hardest part of of the create table statement. So we're going to make a constraint um, order PK. Uh, it's going to be a primary key constraint on the order ID column. Now here we have our second kind of constraint that we make. Uh, constraint uh, order cost FK. And again, I'm not going to mess with you about your naming convention. Uh, this is a foreign key type of constraint. It's associated with the customer ID column in this table and it references the customer tables customer ID column and that right there see that references that's telling you that uh, so if I tried to do the create table order, if I tried to take this statement and send it to a database management system, I would get an error if I tried to run this before I created the customer table because there is no customer table to reference. Okay, um, so that is how to do the create table statements for uh, one to many um, entities. All right. And if you have any questions, again, uh, there's, there's some pretty good examples um, in Chapter 4 on the create table statements. Shouldn't be that hard to break them down.